Hello comrades, come yourself bro here today with president for a day, corruption. Oh, that's right, I get to be a president in Africa. You know this game was made for me. <laughs> mm, yeah, so anyway, um, basically the goal of this game is you are put in charge of a, well again, an African country. Uh, there's a couple of different scenarios. We're going to pick the first one because it's the easiest, and I frankly suck at this game. Uh, because I'm not good at making decisions, because all I want to do is go to war and kill everyone. But of course we can't do that. We've got to do other things. For example, we can achieve an HGI of 70 as the builder. This is a bonus goal that gives you additional points, and that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to play with the builder. It gives you plus 10 support from all donors as well, picking this particular president. Now this right here shows you how to play the game essentially. It's a very simple game, all things considered. Um, and it's mostly event based and you make an action and see what happens with the actions you choose. So with that said, let's take a look, shall we? Famine. The famine has drained the land of resources and people are on the brink of starvation. The famine is a solid foundation for instability and many new forms of crisis may emerge in the wake of the famine. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, we're going to start our first turn out by clicking on our capital. Alright, so what do we want to do? Well, let's upgrade this crappy infrastructure to give us more income in the region. Now we actually have decent roads. You can click on education and improve education, which makes your human development index go up. Uh, the same with the health sector and the same with welfare. Welfare actually affects the stability. And then you can go here. Yeah. Basically, have new armies or new engineer units. Engineer units are these little guys right here. This orange tab, which I can move around and move places and send places. And your army, obviously, is right here, which you can move around, move places if need be. If a region is under attack, for example. And basically, some events are happening here. So that one's just an intro. This one is Protest Party of Rebels, a group referring to themselves as the Democratic Party has emerged in the East. They have emerged as a result of the famine. The group claims to be a democratic party, but others claim they are, in fact, a rebel group. Ah, rebels. I do not very much like rebels. And it also seems like there's another event here. Thousands of people are abandoning the rural areas to seek aid in the city areas. You must erect temporary refugee camps for them to live in. Yes, make refugee camps. Running these will set you back $10 per turn, but increase stability. Or no. We're going to do yes. Because it seems like a good idea, right? Alright, and this one is for the Democratic Party. We could investigate them or not investigate them. I'm going to choose not to. We'll try to keep this relatively uh, amicable over here in our little African country. And then welfare. We demand that you investigate whether the Democratic Party or are genuine Democrats or rebels. Okay, well apparently I didn't have much of a choice because welfare... The welfare organization that gives us money <laughs> is demanding that we investigate them, so we will. The refugee camps of the Great Western Area need food. There's concern that the local gangs and warlords may take matters into their own hands. This will create unrest in the region and development cooperation. Well, the Ministry of the Environment has, with the support of Danita, started a cooperation with the local community and the borderlands regarding dig digging as well as maintenance of wells. Means that during droughts, people in the area okay, are less affected. Okay, well, that's cool. So let's check out this other city over here. We've got education to upgrade. We've got infrastructure to upgrade, welfare, or the health sector. I think we're going to upgrade infrastructure as well as health care. And why not throw a little bit of... You know what? Let's just go ahead and throw a little bit into each one of them to keep that region stable. It's not much income either. Well, let's go ahead and bump, bump it up a bit more to get that more income on the next turn. And what we'll do is we'll move our builder up here to this region, and we will end our turn. Oh, we have more dilemmas, it seems. All right, this group is led by the mayor of the capital. His support affects the risk of rebellion in the capital areas. Established people in the room cannot provide stuff. We must provide. Okay, we will. I don't want people going to war. All right, our meeting with the Democratic Party revealed that they are a genuine Democratic Party. Good thing we were played it safe. Uh, the overall satisfaction that we didn't get involved. <laughs> wink, wink. We didn't get involved, right? Right. Anyway, so we're going to click on this, and we're going to go infrastructure, upgrade, and yeah, that's really all we're about to do is just upgrade the infrastructure to make sure that we're making more than enough money, turn for turn. 
We'll make, okay, we'll do that. Minus five. Uh, dilemma. Okay, make refugee camps. Eh, fine. God, see, I make money and they just take it from us. All right, camps. This will set you back to the a turn. Of course it will. It all sets you back. Yeah, mm-hmm, okay. And there's a bunch of random events. And it looks like one of our... There's starting to be rebel attacks on some of our camps. Which is no bueno. No bueno at all. Not much we can do about that, frankly. More dilemmas. Of course there's more dilemmas. Money for food. Jesus. What did you... You want me to give you my freaking arm, too? Good Christ. No, I'm sorry. I don't care about foreign support. Fuck that. We don't need that. All right, more things are happening. Okay, loot, emergency reliefs, and capital areas. But we're still poor. We don't have the money to do this. All right, but we need more income, clearly. We need more stability. We need more health. We need more education. We need more everything. You can never have enough of what you need, right? Damn it, there's more dilemmas we have to worry about. Help against... If you agree, you must send the army. This will increase the stability of the region. If you do not agree, you should leave them where they are. Locals must fend for themselves. I would love to help you. No, we don't have the money. Sorry. Sorry. No. Uh nah, we'll let we'll let them we'll let them remain in power. Um where I don't see any rebels. I don't it says there's rebels somewhere. Which I, I get let's try this region. It might be in this region. Okay, began attacking trucks. But you may have those eventually. Was it wise to give them a voice? Maybe not. But we're about to find out. I'm trying to be democratic here. So clearly, I want to give them a chance to do something. God, I'm so broke. More dilemmas. Of course there are. Help fight the raids. The raids are getting worse. Alright, so he's in the capital region. And this is the capital region, I think. I don't know. They, that actually would be something kind of nice. Warning, the income of certain regions or blah, blah, blah. So we're running out of income, of course, because I'm wasting it on random nonsense, like saving people. Ha! Ah! And we're being attacked in the southeast area. Ah, like it's not letting me set my guys over there. It's just, just, is it just not happening? Okay, whatever. More dilemmas. Okay, there's, you basically can go listen to all these people too, so, yeah, yeah. All right, overcrowded. Yeah, of course they're overcrowded because there's so many damn, like, pretty much my whole population is in it. Jesus, goodness gracious. Alright, so what else we got? Uh, education. Let's up that. Most of the hospital in the country powered by independent power failures result in weekly credit that could otherwise have been avoided. Well, I'm sorry. Overcrowded refugee camps. Of course there are. Dilemmas. Of course there are. Money for food. Fine. Um, expand. Oh, come on. We don't have the money. God. These people are breaking my back. They act like I'm rich or something. Like I got a bunch of money just to throw away on saving people. Alright, the refugee camps, blah, blah, blah. Risk of epidemic is increasing. Of course it is. Because you people are you, 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 you're breaking my wallet. Alright, so we need to increase health, obviously. So that increased our health a bit. And our army seems to be getting its ass kicked. Health level's low. Oh my god, everything that could go wrong is going wrong. Phenomenal. Alright, well, we're increasing health in various areas where we can, as best we can, how we can, any way we can. So we're doing that, alright. More dilemmas, of course. Let's see, dilemma. Alright, yeah, whatever. F it, this is like the last turn anyway. To overcome this, I'll hire renowned experience in the ways of reliable... Okay, let's do it. Uh, there is evidence that farm will soon recover and that the country will fight its way out of... How do you think leading a country through a crisis went? Eh, nah, I think I did alright. All things considered. You know, uh, a lot of my places look like they're doing fine. We're not making a lot of income, though. That should be pointed out. So, boom, we're going to bump up the health sector considerably to make it look like we've been doing it like this the whole time, I swear. Alright, so we're going to move him over here. All right, well, let's end our turn and see what happens. Legacy, moderate. The famine has several causes. The Africans can't do anything about drought and climate change, but they also carry some of the blame, since in many places the agriculture has been severely neglected. 
So, my time as president is over. I am the rank of a student president with a GDP of 26 and HDI of 9. My total score is 35. So it seems I didn't meet the bonus goal. But I did manage to survive as president for a day. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. If you like what you see, support the game. Uh, support the developers. It's only 424 I think, right now on Steam. So basically 5 bucks. It's 5 bucks on Steam. And... Uh, it's interesting. It's an interesting game. It's mostly educational, and it's meant, I imagine it's very much meant for, you know, uh, people in social studies classes and whatnot. So, I mean, yeah. It, I don't know. I've always been kind of a, I had a soft spot for educational games. So, yeah, I think this is cool, and I, I like what they're doing here and what they're, they're trying to make a point that, you know, uh, not every decision is the right decision. Was it the right decision to do what you did? So I see, yeah, I get that. Nice, cool. And I like the artwork and whatnot. It's very nicely done. But anyway, this has been Kamisabro, and I will see you all next time.